Light strikes a rectangular piece of acrylic at an incident angle of 35 degrees. The index of refraction of acrylic is 1.49. A. Draw the refracted ray as it passes through the acrylic and then refracts again as it exits to air. When light goes from air to acrylic, it slows down, so the angle gets smaller. And then the light goes from acrylic to air, it will speed up, so the angle should get bigger. There. The angle of refraction over here is theta 2. The angle of refraction over here is theta 3. Find those two angles. We can use Snell's law to find these angles. For the first refraction, the first medium ha air has an N of 1. The angle is 35 degrees. The second medium is acrylic, N equals to 1.49. And we're looking for theta 2. So we should find the sine theta 2 to be 0.385. And that means uh, we'll find uh, theta 2 is uh, sine, inverse sine, 0.385, and this gives us uh, 22.6 degrees. And then we look at the second refraction. For the second refraction, light goes from acrylic to air, so M1 is the N for acrylic. The angle here, because uh, these two normal lines are parallel to each other. Here we have a Z shape. That means these two angles are the same. So the angle of incidence for the second refraction is the same as theta 2. So this is sine 22.6 degrees. And that equals to the second N air times the angle theta 3 we're looking for. And we should find the theta 3 to be 35 degrees, same as this. Because these two angles are equal, and Snell's law is symmetric for 1 and 2, of course we should expect theta 3 to equal to 35 degrees. This means that after passing through a rectangular block, the light continues in the same direction, but not along one straight line. The outgoing ray is shifted. Unless, of course, if we have normal incidence like this ray, then there is no shift. And the larger the angle of incidence, the larger the shift. Here I have a rectangular block of acrylic. As you can see, for this line at the center of the screen, we have normal incidence. The farther away from it, the larger the angle of incidence the larger the ray shift. And if I rotate this block, so light rays have to go through a thicker part of the block, the shifted amount gets bigger. Because if this light ray has to stay in the acrylic for longer before exiting to air, of course the light ray would shift more.